the ideal scenario um, would be someone in uh, maybe a distressed situation, not necessarily uh, the property is in a distressed condition. Um, it might be someone who, where the house is upside down, meaning they owe more on it than it's worth. What's the number one secret uh, for, for getting the deed or getting the deal done? Well, um, subject to the magic of getting the deed basically is a, a real estate strategy. Um, some investors know how to do this, some don't. Um, it is a little bit of an advanced strategy, um, but it's an excellent way to be able to take a deal down that has no equity or somehow wouldn't normally fit into a deal that most investors are looking for. Um, the ideal scenario um, would be someone in uh, maybe a distressed situation, not necessarily uh, the property is in a distressed condition. Um, it might be someone who where the house is upside down, meaning they owe more on it than it's worth. Um, so what are you going to do with that, right? I mean, they can't sell, they can't afford to sell. Um, they may have just bought the property and they, their job might be moving them out of state. Um, they don't want to be a landlord, right? Some people have heard all the, the horror stories. Um, or someone that may have just lost their good paying job right after they bought this beautiful house maybe a year ago. They can't afford it anymore. They've already fallen behind on some payments. So basically, as an investor, you come in, you want to solve problems. And this is a problem. People don't want to risk their credit by having a foreclosure on their record or, you know, they want to preserve their credit. Uh, they don't want to be a landlord. Um, so as an investor, you can come in and offer to purchase the property subject to. So that, that that's a phrase that a lot of investors have heard of, subject to. Um, it's a strategy, but they don't really understand what it means. So subject to, if you understand contingent upon. So basically you're saying, I will buy your house subject to the mortgage staying in place or contingent upon the mortgage staying in place. So this allows the seller to move on. And then as an investor, you're coming in, you will get the deed because you're buying the property. The difference is the mortgage will stay in the seller's name. You essentially just take over their payments. So this could be beneficial to someone that doesn't want to ruin their credit. Now you have to come in as a professional real estate investor, right? I mean, your reputation, and the trust factor is huge here because the mortgage is in their name. They're depending on you to make those payments for them. So as an investor, obviously you have to analyze it properly to see, make sure it'll be a good deal for you. But many times as an investor, your only option would be to hold that property as a rental because now you're in the same position. They, they might not have any equity, might yeah. go on more than it's worth. You hold mm -hmm. it as a rental long enough, eventually there'll be equity there's cash flow. It's not such a bad deal for the investor. Okay. So this is also kind of known as a wrap or essentially the, the, uh, the seller is going to say, Hey, either I can't afford it or don't, I, I want to sell it. But some good, there could be some actually decent interest, you know, interest on maybe it's lower interest rate. They got it about a year, year and a half ago versus right. interest being where they're at now. And they're saying, Hey, don't assume my debt because there might not be there might be a a, a, a do on assumption set uh, clause right where the bank would say well now all the no nudes do so we're going to just wrap it where the buyer is going to uh, purchase the property and then just continue to make the payments on um, behalf of of would it be themselves or would it be on behalf of the previous seller or explain that part of it. So a wraparound mortgage is kind of consist of two mortgages existing, the original um, mortgage and then a new mortgage, which would wrap around there. Um, I'm not now I've never done a wraparound mortgage, but I've heard of them. Um, I'm not sure if the deed transfers at that point. Um, a land contract is also an option, but then again, there's two payments being made. There's different interest rates and so forth. This, if the seller is on board and they trust you, and this is a much cleaner way to do it, there's essentially a deed over to you, and then you're taking over the payments. Now, there is a due on sale clause on every mortgage, and you all you always uh, take that risk of the mortgage company calling that mortgage 
um, due and payable because there was a sale. Um, it's not the end of the world if that happens, but to stay under the radar where you're just, most payments are made electronically right now. They're not monitoring where those payments are coming from. Okay, so you don't want to be in a position where the seller is forced to pay off that mortgage. Um, if that does come up, uh, you know, there's no due on sale police, right? They're not yeah. regularly doing uh, title searches to see. Got it. So what's the yeah. risk for the buyer then? So the buyer's buyer gets the property, right? But, you know, continues to make the payments. Do they have any, you know, risk uh, that the seller may come back and, you know, well, Say no, something, there's something or what? there's your your typical purchase agreement, which spells everything out. And then you've got disclosures. The disclosures make it very, very clear of what's happening, what they're agreeing to, and they're, you know, on board with everything. So that will prevent them to coming from coming back and saying, I didn't agree to this. Got it. And then the risk uh for the uh for the seller is that the buyer doesn't continue to make the payments and ultimately their credit is the seller's credit is shot is that correct right which probably would have happened anyways but mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying with this something like this you're 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 staying in the deal and your credibility right. means everything you want to do what you say you're going to do you want to continue to make those payments okay